Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting Games and today you are joining me for a quick unboxing and review and demonstration of the Philips, take a deep breath for this name, the Philips 43 PUS 6401 43 inch 4K Ultra HD Ambilight Smart TV. Did you remember that? There'll be a test later. Anyway, as you can see, we've got a very quick unboxing to start here and it's exactly what you expect. And Again, compared to tellies back when I was growing up, it's amazing to be able to actually take this television out of the box, requiring only one person to do so. So yeah, the TV itself, really pleased with, really happy. You'll see later on I show the camera close up to the computer screen while it's running images from a 4K source coming from my laptop, and you'll see just how crisp and clear the image quality can be. Um, when you're using stuff like YouTube on the built-in Android operating system, again, if you find yourself a really high quality video, like high definition uh, 4K video, then it's truly incredible how crisp the picture can be on a 43-inch wide display or 43-inch diagonal display, of course. Now, what we really want to see that differentiates these Philips Ambilight TVs from a lot of other brands is, obviously, all of this crazy lighting setup that goes on behind the television. So you can see here, the camera, I would say personally, makes it look like the light is a lot harsher and a lot brighter around the television, and then it goes really dark for the rest of the room. You can see here just a couple of examples, like I say, of what 4K images being output from the computer look like, even with the camera well up close to the screen. Obviously, it's very difficult to get clear pictures from the TV screen filming with a camera. But like I was saying, back onto the topic, the ambilight effect is difficult to film and get an accurate representation of on an actual camera displaying it to you here on YouTube. As I say, it makes the lights look a lot harsher around the television and then a lot dimmer outside away from it, whereas really it lights up the room a lot better. And I've got to say, I really like the effect on darker things such as this trailer here where the lights not only change colour but also dim with whatever's going on the screen. So... I find that playing certain games, if you're in dark environments and there's explosions happening and stuff like that, or certain films of that same nature, having the entire room light up with like the colours of the explosion, it is just a, a cool feature. Now, I'm not saying that these lights are the be-all and end-all of a massive feature that you have to have, because they're obviously not, but... Now that I've been getting used to them over the last week or so, I really enjoy having them. And when I've switched the lighting off and played games and watched stuff on YouTube, there's it sort of seems a lot plainer and a lot more... It's diff difficult to say. It's, I suppose it's quite literally a duller experience than with the lights on. Again, not the be-all and end-all, not a feature that I'm going to say is 100% not a gimmick and it's vital for your TV viewing experience. But it's something that is really cool and just a nice little added feature. I'd rather have it than not have it. So personally, I bought this to use as a computer monitor, basically. So I can play racing games and games like Star Wars Battlefront sat on the sofa with a controller. But I can also get my keyboard and mouse on a little table in front of the television and play proper real-time strategy games and things like World of Warcraft. So it's my all-in-one sort of PC thing rather than an actual television itself. And it actually took me and my friend probably an hour plus to realise we'd set the TV up but hadn't even thought of connecting it to a TV aerial. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope that's been useful or slightly interesting to anyone interested in one of these televisions. Find a load of links for this TV and all sorts of other stuff that I'm up to all over the internet in the description below. And well, until the next time, please do consider subscribing. Have a fantastic day. Keep it televisual. And of course, my friends, farewell.